Every time I get a new package, I feel like it's Christmas. Hey, you too. Okay, today we will be recording Doing Laundry With Me. For those of you who are new on my channel, I recorded a video for this washer, I want to say about two to three years ago, and it's still holding up lovely. So I'm just here to show you my setup real quick, and then we go get to the laundriness, but you know, I got to put y'all, I got to put y'all on. Okay, so let's close this. My setup is my washer, which is the Magic Chef. This is the, I'm going to put it on the screen because I don't want to tell y'all the wrong number it is, but the way this is set up, so it came with the part that you twist on here to put this on here. So let me show you. All right, so this part right here, I need pliers to take it off, but this came with the washer and it's like universal. So what you can do is you can put it to any faucet and then I put this like this and this came with the washer too. This is connected. What I learned is that instead of running it in the bathtub, because before I was running it in the bathtub, I just tied this together so that it'll fall up here and the water get released in the sink. And yeah, yeah. So this is the setup. It's on. Turn it off. Right. And then I just have a little, this is my detergent. This is just a um, spray. Sometimes I'm not to spray my clothes, like a pre-wash spray. Lysol, my beady beads. I have OxyClean for when the, the load is like, I, you know, got to get up in there. And then here, I have my downy in case I want to add on to the beady beads. I have my color catches. This catches in case one of the clothes is bleeding. This stops it from bleeding on the other clothes. I took it out of the box and I have my Tide Pods. Now, I know last video, I was putting so much stuff in my laundry, but I really calmed down, y'all. This is really all that I put in my laundry now. This is it. That's just what it is. So, yeah, we're going to get straight into it, okay? Okay, so my first song, I'm going to be doing sheets, which is a queen size. So I'm going to throw that in there. Then I also have like this really thin, thin comforter. So I'm going in also. Then I have two towels that's going to fit in there also. And that's what it looks like in the inside. What I like to do, I like to throw the tie parts in there on the side. Okay, so as you can see, this is the load. I'm just gonna pour a cup. I'm just gonna pour a cup of detergent. And what I like to do, because I hate when this gets like this, I'll take a dry piece and then just wipe it. So this way, I'm not wasting no deodorant. I mean, um, so this way I'm not wasting no detergent. Okay? Boom. And then it's like, you know, clean. Put that back on top. Gotta put the handy Danny lights all. Come on now. Kill them germs. And I'm just gonna do for this load the beady beads. I'm gonna a couple of those over the day. And that's it. That's all I'm gonna put on this load. Okay, in my old video, I did a do laundry with me video and I was putting so much stuff that when I watch this video back to this day, I'll be like, what was I thinking? So I'm going to close that. We're going to come here to the settings. Okay, so I just turned my knobs for the water on and 
right here is where the magic happens. So we're going to turn this baby on because I love the lights. The lights is beautiful. I don't know why on camera it's blinking, but in real life, I promise you, this is not blinking, right? So none of the lights are blinking because on camera, the lights are blinking. I don't know. Whatever. So you have soak, wash, rinse, spin. You have a large load, medium load, small load. I always leave it on large, even if it's small, because I don't know. I just, it doesn't really matter to me. Hot, warm, cold. I always put warm because it's just right in between. And also what I forgot to tell you. Okay, so hot, warm, and cold. This is very important. So back here, this is the hot water and this is the cold water. When you say it's warm, it comes from both. But when you say it's hot, it's just going to come from hot. When you say it's cold, it's just going to come from cold. So when you say warm, it comes from both. And that's why I just literally always leave it on warm because, I don't know, it's just a piece of mind I'm leaving it on warm, okay, for me? I want to do a quick load. My load gets bump, bulky, bulky. Um, spin only if I wanted to just spin. Control lock is for if you have children and you don't want them to be able to open this and play with it. And an extra rinse, which I'm known for using, which is extra rinse. So down here we have the function. So when you click this, it's going to give you options. See, look, eight minutes means only spin because that's the only one lit up. It's going to wash. It's really only. And then it's, then it's going to wash and rinse. <clears throat> and then it, it will rinse and spin. So whatever two, whatever lights is up, that's the whatever you pick. I like to do... Before, I like to do soak, but now, I don't really do soak. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I don't really do soak like that no more. So, I normally just do wash, rinse, and spin. That's it. If I feel like it need an extra rinse, then I'll just click this and put the extra rinse. You see how I put more time? Because this is how long it's going to take, 54 minutes. So, now if I take it off, 44 minutes. So, the extra rinse, put an extra 10 minutes on here. And I'm not really going to do an extra rinse. I feel like 44 minutes is fine. Before I know it, this will be done. So, yeah, we're going to start this baby up. I finally took my plastic off, too, y'all. And I don't know if you can see that, but the water is, like, just going down in there onto the clothes. I love the pressure of the water that it releases in here. It's beautiful, really beautiful. So, we're going to come back when this is done. And I'm going to show you how it looks. So, this is what it looks like when the water release into the sink. And also, a fun fact that you guys should know is I have a drain at the bottom of that. So, that if any lint and stuff, it all messes up my drain. And after each wash, I clean out the drain. This is what the clothes look like in there. I don't know if you can see it. And we currently have 18 minutes left. So right now it's on rinse and spin. The washing is done. That's why it's barely any soap in there. This is not the drain from the wash. I'm sorry, guys. I missed the um drain from the wash. But, you know, this is just a rinse and the clothes. And it holds a lot of water. So now we have two minutes left, and it is just spinning. It's doing that spin, guys. It's doing the spin. Now we are one minute. So it beeps that amount of time to let you know it's done and then it cuts off on its own. You do not have to cut it off. It is shut down and it will just stay here until I open it. Okay. So now we're going to open up this baby. And these. There's barely any. Like, you know how some washes be having the water dripping? Like, drip, drop, drip, drippity, drop. Not this one right here. This one is different, okay? 
my clothes is very damp so like if you're the type of person you don't have a portable dryer like me you could just hang it and it won't like be dripping like dripping crazy no nah, mm -mm. it's just really just damp as you can see the clothes are not soaked at all here's the towel towel is just damp and that's it and this is the second towel that I put in here too and it's just damp and now I have the clothes in this basket right here these, by the way these baskets are from Dollar Tree and I'm going to put it in my portable dryer. First, I have to see if what's in here is done drying, but that is it, guys. Let me know if you want a video on my dryer of me just drying clothes. I do have a video coming up because this is one of my new dryers, and I'm definitely going to let you know my opinion on this dryer. And yeah, that is it. Thank you so much for watching this video, and subscribe for more. Let's cheerio to another video.